Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Eisenstein, Eisenstein effect. effect. I'm your host, Vicki Eisenstein, and this is my guest today, Don Ziana Moon. I'm the founder and producer director of Rocks Geek. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what is Rocks Geek? Okay, Rocks Geek is a geek-themed belly dance and fire company. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been in Chicago for the last few years, and a few of our, our uh, videos actually kind of made it across the pond to the UK. Uh -huh. There's a video of a belly dancing Wookiee to a four-piece uh, Klingon band uh -huh. with an original song in Shirewook that actually went viral and got a little bit of crazy. That MSN got a hold of so it awesome. and it just kind of went nuts on the internet. Uh -huh. So when you say belly dance and fire eating, are you doing those two things at the same time? No. Okay. <laughs> so, so the company is, there, there is a group of belly dancers. Uh huh. And I'm, I'm one of the belly dancers, really. I guess I spin fire too, but I think of myself more as a belly dancer. Okay. And so there's the belly dancers, and then there are fire spinners. So you're mm -hmm. taking things like fans and poi, uh -huh. uh, and you're spinning those around, or hoops that are on fire. And so the, the fire performers are kind of their own thing too. Okay. things mm -hmm. and cosplay and have nerd themes. That is so awesome. So what have some of your themes been? Uh, this is Doctor Who. <laughs> I awesome. am sometimes the TARDIS. What? That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Especially so, works with your blue hair. <laughs> you know, this this is a more recent thing. Okay. And the TARDIS has been around longer. Now I just go on stage and I'm like, I match my costume. <laughs> it's awesome. I think that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I made the skirt and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm the TARDIS. Uh, we have a, a Mario. Awesome. Who's one of the best dancers you will see anywhere uh, as a belly dancer. His really? name is Li Namu. That's so cool. Like when phenomenal. I think of belly dancers, mm -hmm. I guess I'm I'm biased and prejudiced and horrible. I only think of women. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> there are guys who belly dance. Yeah. I am. Um, so in Rocks Geek, we have Lee. Uh -huh. And also in another company that I dance with called Read My Hips, which is more of a kind of normal belly dance company, whatever you think of as normal. Mm -hmm. uh, there are actually two guys, because Lee dances with us in that. And there's also okay. another another man whose name mm -hmm. is Mark. And he is. Lee, Lee is a, a rather short, um, sort of small Asian man. Uh huh. Uh, and, and Mark is gigantic. I mean, Mark is 6'2 <laughs> or something, okay. and huge, and he looks like an evil sultan or an evil what? genie when he dances. Oh, that's that's awesome. kind of his whole persona. So, so guys do belly dance. Mm -hmm. they're, they're relatively rare, but they exist. Okay, cool. So you've got Doctor Who and Mario and um, Star Wars because of the Wookiee is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else that yeah, you're totally into? Yeah, we've got Indiana Jones, mm -hmm. we've got Princess Leia with Star Wars, we've done stuff for Mad Max. That's so For cool. Fury Road. Mm -hmm. We had... We called her Imperator Fireyosa. Mm -hmm. so she she went out on stage mm -hmm. and in costume and everything and spun so cool. fire around because that seemed to fit. Yeah. Uh, so we have a whole wide variety of things and people are always coming up with new new pieces. Do you go to like the conventions? Mm -hmm. We've do definitely it? done conventions. Mm -hmm. We also do belly dance events. Uh -huh. We'll do private gigs as well. We've done things at the University of Chicago. Really? Uh, and then we'll all put on our own like big theatrical productions. Uh -huh. So uh, we have a show coming up, actually, uh, at the Uptown Underground mm -hmm. on Friday, March 11th at okay. 8 p.m. So it'll be a full hour-plus show of just us doing awesome. geek-themed fire and belly dance. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's so cool. So how did you get into belly dance? Um, so I actually started out as a swing dancer, mm -hmm. and uh, relatively late, actually. Uh, it was my last month of college, mm -hmm. and I finally, finally went to the swing dance event that happened the entire time I was in college mm -hmm. because I thought I needed a partner and finally I just went and it turned out I didn't need a partner because people, people were there and were uh -huh. willing to dance with me. Great. That is awesome. So I, I got into swing dancing mm -hmm. and I started being one of these people that would teach swing dancing and mm -hmm. would travel all over the country to go just socially dance with other people so and so cool. I was really into mm -hmm. it. And one subsection of swing dancing mm -hmm. at the point 
uh, it's called blues. The mm -hmm. scenes have split a little bit at this point, but at that point, blues was kind of integrated with the larger mm -hmm. swing scene. Uh, okay. We would do Lindy Hop and we would do blues. Uh -huh. And if you do blues, it's a it's a close partner dance mm -hmm. with a lot of body isolations. Okay. And it looks if you if you're looking at it, it looks a little bit like Argentine tango. Oh, okay. So so there are these body isolations, and people will talk about belly dance sometimes because. Mm -hmm. Oh, body isolations. Belly dancers do mm -hmm. those. Yeah. And eventually I got curious and I went to the source of all knowledge, uh -huh. uh, YouTube. <laughs> it YouTube. is! <laughs> I, so on YouTube, I was looking up belly dance and uh -huh. I was trying to get a sense of what the different styles were mm -hmm. and what people looked like and stumbled across this group that I thought was really great. Mm -hmm. And I, I realized they were in Chicago mm -hmm. and they taught classes. Mm -hmm. And then it took me a year to show up. Well, but moving, again, I was moving is tough. Where were you located originally again? Uh, originally, originally, I'm from Singapore. Oh, wow. Awesome. Um, I moved to the U.S. when I was five, so I grew okay. up in Michigan. Mm -hmm. But at that point when I, I was starting to Google mm -hmm. and to, to look on YouTube for belly dance, mm -hmm. it, was, it was definitely I was living in Chicago at that point. Gotcha. So, mm -hmm. so they were there. I just... You were here. It just takes a while to get to a new Sometimes, group. you know, yes. I get busy. And, <laughs> It, I mean, it turns out that's that group was Read mm -hmm. My Hips, which is the group that I'm still dancing mm -hmm. with. Do you ever do um, like kind of Chinese dance or Asian dances too? I actually don't really know Asian mm -hmm. dances. That's fine. <laughs> I am a musician though. Mm -hmm. I'm a singer songwriter, mm -hmm. and so so Rock Geek is it's fun. It's mm -hmm. it's really silly. So uh, that's kind of me playing in, uh -huh. in that sense. My music is very serious. It's the opposite. It's like really? a very emotional sort uh -huh. of thing. And musically, uh, the music falls somewhere between folk and pop with okay. a little bit of jazz and some traditional Chinese music. Interesting. So I actually do know a little bit about Chinese music, uh -huh. but I really know nothing to speak of for Chinese dance. That's totally fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know like when I, when I went to college, the, the Chinese dance troupe was pretty big and so was the like the Punjabi dance. Oh, awesome. They were like Bhangra. Bhangra was so huge at college. I don't know why. The dancers who were Asian where I went to college, it was the University of Michigan, mm -hmm. they were all into hip hop. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> and I actually never really hung out with the Asians at my school. That's fine. Um, they deemed me not Asian enough to hang out with no, them. No, what? <laughs> Wait, what is it? Banana? Did they call you banana? Yeah, they should really call me banana. <laughs> It's true. I'm sorry. This is a thing. <laughs> now, I lived in Korea for five years, and I got called an egg. So <laughs> there you go. You do music too. Do you have mm -hmm. um? Do you have like a what do you even call it? Have you released like an album? Yeah, I've released and... a couple of albums. I've actually been doing music far longer than I've been doing dance. Oh really? I started playing piano when I was five. Okay. Uh, I grew up like classically trained, uh -huh. so I play piano and guitar. I used awesome. to play flute, but I don't really anymore. Do that. But music, it, it's still something that I do. If you can mm -hmm. kind of see behind, there's the piano and there's the I guitar. I see a and... piano and a guitar. You can look me up on iTunes. Books. Look for Don Ziana Moon on iTunes, and you will get an album. <laughs> a couple of them. Do you ever do like straight theater? Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually have a degree in theater from oh, the University of Michigan. There you go. So okay. I've been doing theater my entire life too. I'm just uh -huh. kind of the all-round arts person. Yeah, you are a triple threat. Kind of, except there's not much call to belly dance in a theater setting. You know, one day, <laughs> one day there'll be that casting call, and they'll be looking for a beautiful Asian belly dancer who can also do acting, and you'll have the role. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the sad part is I can't really do Broadway style dancing, not to any degree of proficiency, so. That's interesting. What uh, is it about the different, like, techniques or something? Yeah, they're very different it? techniques. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to be good at, you know, ballet, modern, mm -hmm. jazz, and sort of a more classical oriented sense, mm -hmm. really you need to start a training, right? When you're relatively young, yeah. you have to be doing it for a long time. That makes sense. You build up the flexibility. Mm -hmm. Belly dance is a lot easier to come into, actually, as somebody who's older. Because, really? Uh, I mean, its its origins are a folk dance, mm -hmm. right? So it's it's more of a vernacular dance or a street dance. Yeah. And so a, a lot of things about it are easier on your body. So okay. there's a lot of things that you have to train at really hard, mm -hmm. but the skill set is very different. Okay. If you, I've actually taught some modern dancers a little bit of belly dance. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because those things don't come naturally to them either. The body mm. isolations, they just... They, it doesn't come the same way. Because they've been trained not to do that, right? Right. Or, so there's yeah. certain things, or or with swing dancing, mm -hmm. uh, so so somebody who comes from a more classical, you know, ballet or something, mm -hmm. like you're holding your arms very prettily, yeah. that is wrong if you're a swing dancer. You're supposed to just kind of like let it like just hang. 
Yeah. You're not really thinking about mm -hmm. your arms too much. So, so the styles, sometimes you have to train yourself out of different things. Yeah. But classical dance training is really, really helpful because it helps you pick up other things mm -hmm. more quickly. So those of us who don't have that background, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's a little bit more work sometimes to get different styles. Gotcha. So what do you like to do for like fun? Like what are your hobbies? I joke that I don't have any hobbies because they all turn into jobs. Okay. Uh, possibly food is still a hobby. Mm -hmm. I, I really like to cook and to bake because oh, I good. love to eat. Mm -hmm. And I feel you. So I mean, if anything, mm -hmm. maybe that's a hobby. Uh, you could, I suppose, consider travel a hobby, but that's less a hobby than more just wanderlust and going crazy. <laughs> so just no, needing great. to leave the country periodically. Where's the favorite place that you visited? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, Tuscany is one of my favorites. Mm. It's really, really gorgeous. I now I want pasta and wine. Mm. <laughs> I love France. I've been to 19 countries, so oh, that's I'm great. still adding things to the list. That's really cool. What's the most recent one you went to? Most recently? Oh gosh. Probably Italy? Okay. Is that the most recent thing I've done? I think so. Gotcha. I was at a reading retreat mm -hmm. in Italy for about two weeks, and mm -hmm. so it, I, I picked a place that had a couple of grand pianos, and so uh -huh. I spent the time. Uh, working on music and writing songs wow. and reading a lot and just kind of recharging. You're like great. the coolest person ever. <laughs> I don't know, is there anything that you wanted to talk about for sure on here? That anything you wanted to, to mention? Um, I don't know, come see Rock Ski <laughs> Friday, March 11th mm -hmm. at the Uptown Underground. The performers are really fantastic. Uh, most of them actually do this full time. Mm -hmm. Lee is just somebody that you have to see because he's incredibly difficult to describe. Nobody, I, I was talking about the difference between people with classical background mm -hmm. and dance and people who start with other things. Mm -hmm. Lee started as a belly dancer with no prior dance training at all at the age of something like 18 or 19. Mm -hmm. uh, eventually, just for some reason decided to audition for Joel Hall Dance Company, which is a really legitimate um, ballet, modern mm -hmm. dance company that's that's regionally well known and will perform internationally. Even uh -huh. uh, you don't get into that with no dance background, right? He yeah. did. He went to the audition and he just got in because wow. he's that good. That's great. That's so, just raw talent. I mean, that's ridiculous. So he's amazing. Come see uh -huh. him. Uh, Kamra is also awesome. She's another person who dances with us, and she teaches belly dance classes at the national level. She'll travel mm -hmm. around the country and teach workshops. Wow. She's taught at the belly dancer equivalent of Lollapalooza, which is Tribal Fest. Tribal Fest? Tribal Fest. That uh, sounds awesome. For tribal belly dance. Is that happening in Chicago? Uh, no, that one is actually in California. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And we also have Mitchie, who's a fire spinner, who's mm -hmm. also also is another person who juggles about a billion things. Mm -hmm. She is the managing editor of Uncanny Magazine, which is a, okay. a really fantastic science fiction magazine okay. that has published people like Neil Gaiman. Awesome. So that is also a thing she does in addition to Spinning Fire. Everybody is so multi-talented mm -hmm. in this world, aren't they? I love it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So we have a lot of really, really fantastic performers. Now how about to find you on the internet? Where should people go? You should go to rocksgeek.com. Mm -hmm. It's R-A-K-S-geek.com. Um, or you can look up me in terms of music at donsianamoon.com. It's D-A-W-N-X-I-A-N-A-M-O-O-N.com. Great. Well, thank you so much for being thank on you the so show. Much for me. You're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>